Yeah, I see, I see. I like that. And when we're thinking about like this creed in First Corinthians fifteen, like I think one of the questions like it's always talked about is like, well, what does Paul think when he's thinking of like the resurrection of Jesus? So like some people will say like maybe at a more critical will be like, well, maybe this is some sort of like hallucination or like um, some sort of like private revelation. Whereas other people may say, well, no, he's like he believed he saw like the physical risen Jesus. So when you're looking at this creed in First Corinthians fifteen, David, uh, do you think Paul thinks that he physically saw like the risen Jesus? Yeah, so scholars do take those variety of views. I mean, I guess you have some one or two, and you just should use the word scholar, but they may not be a New Testament scholar as such. Might even say, hey, the whole passage is um, an interpolation that's made up. I know uh, Andrew Loke's uh, book covers interacts with that sort of viewpoint, but it's not mainline scholarship. My dissertation doesn't look into it much. But yeah, in terms of what Paul thought about the resurrection, uh, I would side with the fact that the term raised, a gyro, is, can be understood in a few different ways, but is very likely referring to a physically body event that Jesus was raised from being an incapacitated lying down body, raised up again to life. Um, as well as when you continue in the passage, you know, Paul talks about how, you know, how can some of you say there's no um, resurrection? And then if that's the case, then Christ hasn't been raised. And so he seems to understand what this resurrection is again in sort of a bodily sense and then there's discussion a bit about what does uh, paul mean by a spiritual body and um there's a lot of work been done on this but mike lacona's stuff on that is one of the best and yeah, he basically shows that the terms and how paul uses it uh is not likely referring to an immaterial body but rather spiritual body means that it's either empowered by the spirit or that it's uh, like the spiritual realm in the sense that heaven is a place, a real place, but this spiritual body will be like that, like everything around it and that. Um, and so, yeah, how did Paul think of the resurrection? I think it's in First Corinthians, both the experiences that he talks about others and himself, he's likely taking that as this was a literal bodily thing that happened. Mm. So I wonder, like, when I'm thinking about this creed in, like, 1 Corinthians 15, like, Paul, like this creed talks about, like, uh, Jesus appearing to, like, Cephas and then to, like, a group of the disciples and, then, like, the 500. And it's, like, there's all these different appearances. And it seems like to me, like, from my, like, layman's perspective, like, reading this creed, like, Paul kind of includes himself as, like, I'm, like, like, these people, like, saw the risen Jesus in, like, a physical sense. And he's, like, yeah, I'm one of these people as well. Like, do you think that'd be, like, kind of, like, a fair take at what's going on here? Yeah, yep, yeah, that's exactly right. So, I mean, historically, would say something. We can have different reconstructions, but we'd probably say something like, you know, the claim is that, I guess, getting from the Gospels, that Jesus appeared to the disciples um, on the third day, on the Sunday morning, first a group of early women followers and to other men, and for a period of about forty days, and then the appearance to Paul was sometime later on the road to Damascus, maybe um, a couple years type of thing, and then in terms of how it's phrased in first corinthians 15 uh it's um mcgregor uh, kirk mcgregor i think it is has an article on this who talks about how he thinks the wording of it suggests that paul's experience was qualitatively different from the others which uh, doesn't necessarily mean that uh it's a spiritual as opposed to that but he's realizing like it's out of sequence there's something different about that and uh in my work on memory on that i suggest that would tend to recall events based upon our experience. So the fact that there's a slight difference in how it's phrased in verse eight of chapter 15 to the earlier appearances could suggest the fact that, you know, Paul's experience was on the road to Damascus. And then it was only understanding of the others that he came to realize that there was a bit of a distinction, how that they're both like real appearances of Bolly risen Jesus. But yeah, you even see that uh, there. Thank you.